So this is going to be a full Shivananda yoga practice that I'd like to share with you. So we're going to begin, first of all, into a table position on all fours. So our knees are going to be in line with our hips and our shoulders in line with our wrists. We keep a flat back to begin. As we inhale, we lift the chin, push the butt back. And as you exhale, tuck the chin in, draw the navel in towards your spine, push up through your shoulders, middle back, lower back. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Keeping the arms straight, really push the bottom back, your tailbone pushes back, your chin forward. And as you exhale, tuck the chin in towards your chest, rounding through your back. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Three more times. And exhale. Inhaling, exhale, come into a tabletop and then push back your bottom towards your heels, stretching your hands forward, then bend the elbows and tuck the chin in so the forehead relaxes on your mat for a moment. Pranam, in gratitude to Mother Earth for all of the blessings. Breathing in gently through your nose. Exhaling completely through your nose. Let your shoulders relax. Just feel your tailbone lengthening towards the heels of your feet. One more breath. Exhale completely. And then coming back onto all fours, just stretching out through the arms. We're going to inhale, reach up with the right arm, enjoying that go and sunshine. And as you exhale, thread through and let the head just touch the floor for a moment. We breathe in and reach. And as you exhale, thread. Inhale, reach. And exhale, thread. Inhale, reach, and exhale, thread. We're going to relax that shoulder, the side of the head down, and just lifting up your left arm towards the sunshine, towards the ceiling. And then you can take that arm back slightly to increase that stretch, pushing your bottom as far towards your heels as you can, slightly towards the right side, feeling that stretch under the shoulder blade, and then bring the left palm down on top of your right palm for a moment. Take another breath. Exhale. Bring your left hand by the side of your face and reach up one more time. Bring that hand down and let's do the same with the other leg, with the other arm. Let's do the same with the other arm. Inhale up and exhale. Inhale and exhale inhale and exhale inhale and exhale last time breathing in and as you exhale relax the head onto the floor push the bottom towards the left side slightly and back then inhale, reach up with your right arm, just opening up here, breathing in and out, and then bring the hand down on top of your left palm and just push your fingertips forward slightly as if you're straightening up through your arms, pushing your butt back, inhale, exhale, 
place the right hand close to your face, reach up and then bring that hand down. From here, tuck the toes under, push into the balls of your feet. You get a lovely toe stretch here as well. Take another breath and exhale. And then come up onto the balls of your feet, walk your hands towards you and then finding that balance, bring your hands into a prayer position. Lengthening through your spine, imagine from the crown of your head a piece of string is pulling you up. Take another breath in and start to rise, staying on the balls of your feet. Breathing in, stretch up, stretch as much as you can, relax your shoulder blades down and then as you exhale take the arms out and slowly drop your heels to the floor. Now we're going to come to the top of our mats for Surya Namaskar. Okay, so roll the shoulders back, standing tall in Tadasana. As we inhale, reach the arms up, exhale into a prayer position. Inhale, stretch the arms up, keep the arms in line with your ears as you bend back. Exhale, fold forward bringing the hands to the floor. You can bend your knees to get the hands closer, tucking the chin in towards your chest. Inhale, lunge the right leg as far back down the midline of your mat, drop the knees, the toes, and lift the chin and the chest. Tuck the toes under, knee off the floor, coming into a plank position, shoulders are away from your ears, push back into your heels. Drop your knees, elbows soft, chest comes in between your hands, chin to the floor. Relax the thighs, heels together, shoulders away, elbows squeezed in. As you inhale, come into Bhujangasana. As you exhale, slowly lower down, hands go back, push into your inverted V. Take another breath here, inhale. As you exhale, lift your seating bones up towards the sky. Another breath, inhale, exhale, lengthening through your arms, all the way up through your back. And now as you inhale, look forward in between your hands, lunge your right foot forward, drop the left knee, lift the chin and the chest. Tuck the toes under, lift the knee off the floor, left leg comes forward, tuck the chin in. As you inhale, soften through the knees, reach forward up, Arms in line with your ears, bending back. Straighten the body, arms come down. Left leg, inhale, exhale, prayer position. Inhale, reach up and back. Exhale, fold forward and down, tuck the chin in. Keep the neck and the head relaxed. As you breathe in, lunge. Left leg goes back, drop the knees, the toes, lift the chin and the chest. Tuck the toes under, lift the knee off the floor. Plank position. From here, knees, elbows soften, butt stays up, chest comes down, chin comes down. Shoulders away from your ears as you inhale. Come into your cobra, Bhujangasana. Make sure that you don't lock out your arms, keep them bent, even if you only come up slightly. Take a breath. As you exhale, lower down, tuck the toes under, push back into your inverted V, lifting up through those hips. Keep the shoulders away from your ears. Take another two breaths. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. And as you inhale, look forward as you lunge your left leg forward. Lifting up through your chin, your chest. Try and keep the heels of your hands pushing down, tucking that tailbone under. Really enjoying that stretch through your groin, through your hips. Tuck the toes under, right leg comes forward. Relax the upper body, soften the knees, and as you inhale, reach forward, up and back. Straightening up the body and arms come down. Now you can do about three, five, seven rounds. So if you like, you can press pause here 
and then we'll continue after you've done however many rounds is suitable for you. From your Tadasana, we're going to come down onto your mats, lying down. For single and double leg lifts, preparation for the shoulder stand, Shavang Asana. I just thought I'd take it. Yeah, no, that's no, cool. I'm just going to take it out. I thought it might be better, but I kind of put it on the wrong side, but I think it's going to be all right. Okay. Oh my God, it's so hot. Let me just wipe my face. I'm going to go black. I forgot to put like skin protection on. Crazy woman doing it at the bloody 12 o'clock midday sun. Look all right? Okay. So we're going to lie down on our backs. Oh, it's sunny here in Goa. Arms are long down by the side of your body. We're going to flex the feet. Shoulders are away from your ears. As we inhale, lift your right leg up. And as we exhale, we're lowering. Inhale, lift the left. Exhale slowly as you lower. Inhale, lift the right. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift the left. Exhale, lower. This time as we inhale, lift the right leg up, hold it here. Take the hands and interlock just behind your thigh, holding onto your hamstrings here. Keep the shoulders relaxed away from your ears. Keep the foot flexed and make sure your left, left leg is still awake. Keep it slightly flexed. As we inhale, we're going to lift the chest up, chuck the chin, tuck the chin in towards your chest. Elbows come out to help you lift a little bit more. If your arms are bent like mine, then we need to take the arms up as high as we can towards the heels. And then from here, we exhale, bring that leg towards us. Now, if your leg is bent, then you need to bring your hands down slightly. But if you're flexible and you've got your hamstrings aren't too tight, you can relax your shoulders slowly bringing that leg here breathing in and as you exhale you can lower your shoulders your head to the floor just to hold that stretch a little bit deeper breathing in and exhaling now of course if your leg begins to shake like this it just means you need to ease off even if you're here holding just make sure your leg is straight and then take a deep breath in Release the hands and slowly lower that leg. You can also hug the knee towards you for a moment and extend. Left leg, inhale, lift the left leg up, interlock the hands either below the knee or even you can hold the calf muscle but keep the leg as straight as you can. Breathing in and as you exhale, lift the chest, tuck the chin in, push the elbows out to help you go a little bit higher. Walk the hands as high as you can. Relax your shoulders. Bring that knee as close as you can. The other leg is still awake. Make sure it's not up like this. Push that leg down. Breathing in. Lovely. Take another breath. And you can slowly lower as you exhale your shoulders and your head. Keeping that leg straight. Breathing in. As you exhale, relax the left leg slightly. Increase that stretch. Feel the stretch in your hamstring. Breathing in through the nose. Exhale. And then on your next inhalation, slide the hands down towards you. You can bend that knee and then extend the leg out. Give the legs a little shake. Now imagine that you're tying a piece of string around your ankles, shoulders once again away from your ears. If you have any lower back issues, you can place your hands like cushions just under the small of your back. Otherwise, you can keep them long down by the sides of your body. 
we're going to inhale lift the legs up two three four five feet of flex exhale lower two three four five inhale lift exhale lower nice and slow make sure that you really activate your core muscles as you lower your legs down to protect your back inhaling as you exhale push your navel towards your spine keeping the legs straight inhaling exhale slowly lower imagine your heels are drawing a line on a, a wall in front of you inhale chin towards your chest exhale inhale legs are straight exhale inhale three more times if you can now if you get tired you can continue with single leg lifts one more inhale and exhale lovely from here you can either lay in shavasana or you can bring your knees in towards your chest make sure there's no tension in your lower back you can circle a couple of times one way and then the other and just take a rest for a moment full yogic breathing relax in this corpse pose with your legs completely relaxed feet fall out palms face up towards the sky breathing into the belly into the chest into the collarbone exhale completely five or six long breaths allowing the body to relax And now we bring the feet together, stretch the arms way past the head, stretching right side, left side. Give the body a nice long stretch, point the toes, flex the feet. And then we're going to bring the arms down. And next we're going to do the shoulder stand. So as we were, imagine you're tying a piece of string around your feet. Shoulders are away from your ears. As you take a deep breath in, lift the legs up, rock the bottom of the floor and take your hands onto your lower back. Now, if you feel like you're already comfortable in this position, stay there. But if you feel like your elbows are quite wide, you can drop the knees towards your forehead. Take the hands away and interlock them. Try and bring the elbows together. And then place the hands on your lower back and lift up holding this for 10 breaths to 20 breaths breathing into your belly exhaling try to get the hands as close towards your shoulder blades literally holding the back of your rib cage chin is towards your chest stimulating the thyroid gland feet are kind of relaxed toe joints together breathing deeply You can actually hold the shoulder stand for anything to one, two, three, seven minutes. So if you feel like you 
want to practice this for longer, then you can also come out slowly, press pause and just hold this for as long as you like. Otherwise, we're going to go straight now into the plow. So the plow position, halasana, is movement from the hips. Make sure your hands are supporting your back. We take a deep breath in, single leg first. As we exhale, flex the right foot as it starts to lower towards the ground. You can bring the toe all the way down if you can, but if it stops halfway, that's also okay. Make sure that your left leg is completely straight. Inhale, as you exhale, bring that leg up. Left leg, breathe in. As you exhale, lower the leg. Breathing in and lift. Inhale, lower the right. Inhale, exhale, lift. Inhale, exhale, lower the left. Inhale, exhale, lift. Keep the toe joints together. We're gonna to go both legs, breathing in. As you exhale, straight legs come towards you. Begin to flex the feet. Make sure your hands are supporting your lower back. Very slowly, aiming the toes towards the floor. Push the knees away from the face. Lift up through your tailbone. Holding that position, breathing here. And if you are comfortable to take your hands away, you can interlock them and lengthen them along your mat. Breathing deeply. Keep breathing. Feel the breath, find space within to breathe. Pushing the heels towards the earth, lifting up through your hips. Holding it for about five to 10 long breaths. If it starts to feel uncomfortable, you can always drop your knees towards your forehead Make sure your hands support your back. Now from here we have a couple of options. If you've done this before, we're going to go back into our shoulder stand and come into a bridge, Setu Banasana. If you've not done this before, then we're just going to drop the knees towards the head, use your hands as brakes and slowly roll out, keeping the heels as you come out towards your bottom. But I'll show you the more advanced variation first. Place the hands on your lower back, come back into your shoulder stand, Shavangasana. From here, drop the heels towards your bottom slowly bring the feet towards the floor make sure your hands are supporting your hips and then very slowly either two legs or one leg together we're going to find the floor and then push the hips up lovely holding that breathing into your chest into your rib cage that looked a bit daunting. I'll show you again from the plow. You can release the hands, use them as brakes to slowly begin to lower each vertebra down, heels towards your bottom, slowly rolling out. And from here, plant the feet into your mat. Come up onto the balls of your feet and then onto your toes. First of all, one hand comes under your hip, then the other. You can walk your feet a little bit closer towards you and then drop the heels if that feels comfortable. And again, hold the position here, breathing deeply. 
Exhale. Breathe into your chest, into your lower back. And again, holding that for five to 10 breaths or even longer. To come out the position, onto your toes, release the hands, place them on your mat and slowly, with your hips coming forward slightly, begin to lower your back vertebra by vertebra lower back and then your hips release one leg out and release the other leg out you can turn your head from right to left and just resting there for about five breaths Palms can face up, shoulders relax in the corpse pose. Shavasana. And the next pose is the fish pose, Matsya Asana. So just coming back onto my mat slightly. Again, still lying down from where we were, enjoying the breeze and the sun. So you guys, I'm sure you're not by the sea or the sun. Just imagine you are. You can close your eyes and imagine you're here next to me, listening to my voice guide you through your practice. So the fish pose, Matsya Asana. Come onto your left hip slightly. Your right arm is long underneath your body. We're going to roll over onto that arm, onto the hand, bringing the left arm very, very close. So as if the elbows are trying to touch underneath you, I'll just let you have a quick look. And then really bring them as close as you can. And of course, they're not going to touch unless you're really super crazy flexible in your arms. And then from here, as you can see, I'm already like popping up my rib cage, my abdomen. My hands are literally underneath my butt. So from here, toe joints together. Legs are slightly activated. We push into the elbows, into the forearms and start to lift the chest up until the head comes off the floor to look at your toes. From here, push the chest, tuck the chin all the way down and slowly lower the crown of the head towards the floor. So breathe in, breathe into your body. As you exhale, let go and surrender. You can imagine you're just hanging out here for a few more minutes, not that we will, but just so you can relax. Imagining your breath as a golden light. Spreading across the body, melting away, tightness, tensions, releasing toxins as you exhale. Now again, if this is an asana that you'd like to hold for longer than a minute or so, you can always press pause and hold it for as long as it feels comfortable. Now to come out of the asana, take a deep breath in, lifting up through your sternum, through your chest, your chin lifts. Exhale here. Straighten your arms on the next breath and begin to lift up, keeping the arms as straight and as close to your ears. As you exhale, take the hands behind you for the incline plane. This is the actual counter pose for the forward fold. Now you can either have your hands as mine are, fingers back, or you can turn your fingers inwards, whatever feels more comfortable. Now again, you can also do this with one leg or two legs. The full position is to inhale, lift up through your hips, bring your toes towards the floor, let your head 
go back, keep the neck in line with your spine and hold it here and breathe. Keep lifting up through your hips and breathe for about five long breaths in and out. Now, if this is really challenging, you can actually do one leg at a time. It's best to have your hands inwards for that position. We breathe in and lift up, toes to the floor, hips up. So do about two or three breaths on one side. And then of course, changing the leg for the other side. Great. And then slowly lower the bottom. Now, make sure that, you know, if your wrists feel like you've had a good workout, just give them a little shake and then shake them all out. And now we're gonna go onto our stomachs for the Cobra Pose. So lying on your stomach, first of all, let's have a look at the legs. Make sure that you extend your legs away from you, turning your heels inwards. Now, if they don't touch, it's okay, but try not to have them all flopping out like this. Really bring them together, turn the heels inwards, lengthening your toes away. Now with the hands, bring them underneath the shoulders. You can first of all, just use your other hand, make sure your fingertips are in line with your shoulders, both sides. Push the shoulders away from your ears. Elbows kind of tuck into your rib cage. And just rest for a moment with your forehead on the floor. Take a deep breath in and lift the head. Sweep your chin across your mat. It's like your chin is being lifted on the inhalation, coming up as high as you can. As you exhale, drop your shoulders, squeeze your elbows. Make sure that your bottom's relaxed. Now, if you're flexible, you may be able to come up a little bit higher, or if you prefer, keep it low. The aim is to lift the chest. Make sure your hips are on the floor. We're not coming up like this and hanging out. That's really easy and dangerous for your back. We wanna make sure heels are turning inward, shoulders away, elbows here. Squeeze and breathe. Exhale, relax through your sternum. Relax through your sacrum. One more breath, breathing in. And as you exhale, lower down. Well done. You can place one hand on top of the other and just for three breaths, have a, a moment of relaxation, breathing in. Really breathing deeply because this gives, your mass, uh, gives a massage to your internal organs and exhale completely. Breathing in, exhale. Inhale for the next exercise. The pose is called the bow pose, Dorangasana. So we're gonna lengthen once again the legs away. Now, what we're gonna do first is just bring your heel towards your bottom and make sure that you round your shoulder back. Try and grab hold of you know, a good grip, not like on the ankle, because we don't want to be pulling here, but on the foot, a nice position here. And then the same with the other leg. Bring the heel up as if you're doing like a backstroke. Kind of grab hold. Make sure your knees are as close together as you can. Prepare by just lowering your head, lifting your knees and lengthening your thighs away from you. And now, take a deep breath in, exhale, and as you inhale, sweep your chin across your mat like you did before, lifting up your chest, and then lifting your knees off the floor. Imagine you're kind of balancing on your stomach. Your toes want to go higher. You're lifting up your chest to balance, holding here and breathe. Feel like the toes and the feet are being lifted. Knees off the floor. Long breath. Now, if that feels good, you can also add a little rock. This is great for all of your internal organs. Couple more times. And release. Whew. Well deserved rest. Hands one on top of the other, toes touch. And just turn your, this time your left ear to relax for about three to five breaths. And then 
whenever you're ready, just bring your hands close to your rib cage, push back, have a little stretch with the heels towards your butt, fingers forward, forehead to the floor, and come into a child's pose. Then we're gonna slowly uncurl, roll the shoulders back a couple of times. And now we're gonna do the half spinal twist. So with the half spinal twist, we're gonna come into Vajrasana. And from here, take out your right hand, drop over to the right side and bring your left foot over, sitting up really tall. So the same hand as the leg goes behind you. We inhale, reach up with your right arm and take it towards the left side. We bend it to try and get that knee more over to this side. You can either have your hand here on your knee or if you can find your ankle, it's a little bit more advanced and you really get an internal squeeze through all your organs. But we breathe in and as we exhale, turn to look over your shoulder behind you and hold that position here. Use the back hand to make sure that your spine is erect. Keep twisting to look over for about five breaths. If you find this difficult, you can actually just keep your hand here or the actual variation is the bent leg, you can straighten and just hold that here or hold that here. So there's always lots of variations to make it simpler, or more challenging. And to come out of the position, we lift our arms up, turn all the way, lift up through the chest, just have a quick look over the shoulder and then come forward into Vajrasana, the thunderbolt pose. The other side, drop the hips over, bring that leg over make sure you're not sitting on this heel make sure both your seating bones are really flat down take the hand behind you lift up with your left arm and then first of all really use your strong bicep to push it away and then grab the knee or the ankle keep pushing to lift the chest up and breathe, looking over the shoulder, the beautiful river. Keep breathing, elongate your spine as you exhale completely. You may even feel like you can twist a little bit more. And again, breathing in, exhale, twist. Breathing in, exhale, twist. And then on the next inhalation, lift up your arms, twist around to the other side for a moment. And then coming back into Vajrasana and just allowing the spine to realign, keeping the eyes closed and take about three breaths here. So no doubt you just want to lay on the floor in Shavasana for the final relaxation, but we're going to do one more pose. It's so we get a real nice stretch, a lateral stretch. So coming up onto your feet, taking the legs out wide, about three foot apart. We're going to turn the foot about 30 degrees out, hands on your hips, reach up, breathing in. And as you exhale, just a nice, gentle, passive stretch over to the side. Keep reaching up through the rib cage, pushing down through your heels, relax your shoulder blades. Breathing in and exhale. So you can take that a little bit further. If you are flexible, you can even bring your hand down, whatever feels comfortable. Take about three or four breaths, nice and long. Make sure your shoulder doesn't fold forward. Rotate it back and reach. You can either look down to the floor if you have any pain in your neck, 
or up towards your hand. Bring your hand to support you and then inhale up, exhale down. Bring, turn that foot in, turn the other foot out about 30%. So our hips are still forward. This isn't quite the trick on asana, it's a bit of a, a variation, a little bit more gentle. Inhale, reach up, relax your shoulder blades. As you exhale, we fold over. Make sure that you're lifting out of the waist as you fold. Don't crunch everything down. Make it long. And again, if you want to go a little bit deeper, keep the eyes closed, relax the shoulder blades, the shoulders. Lovely. One more breath. And up we go. We're going to end with one more pose, the tree pose, Rick's asana. So make sure, first of all, that you pull up your mula bun slightly. That's like a contraction, so you're turning on your transverse abdominal muscles. Take a breath in, bring your heel up. Hands into a prayer. Focus on a point, maybe about three to four feet in front of you. And breathe. Inhale, strong through your supporting leg, take the arms up. Breathe through your spinal column, focusing on that point about three or four foot in front of you for balance. really enjoying the go and sunshine through this practice <laughs> so again you can hold it for a little longer if you wish or take a deep breath in and as you exhale release the arms release the foot and just for a moment just close the eyes knees are soft and just breathe into your body exhale and then we're going to come onto our mats for Shavasana, final relaxation. I will take this part indoors, otherwise I think I'll get awfully hot demonstrating and guiding you through a Shavasana, but we will add it to the rest of this video for you. Thank you and namaste.